Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a review of the new features within Access Camera Station 5.50. We're always trying to improve the product and in this release we've made lots of improvements to the user interface. We have improved the visibility of the recording indicator. This can now be seen in the top right hand corner. We have also included a motion indicator which appears when there is motion within the scene. So for motion recording, you will see both of these indicators. Note, these indicators are also displayed on the map. We have moved both the manual recording and instant replay icons to improve usability. This location will make it easier for operators to access functionality. We have made several aesthetic changes to the recording timeline. We now have a timeline tooltip that provides a preview image and also information on the event recordings within the timeline. We have changed the color for action rule recordings and it's now an aqua color. Here you can see that I'm filtering the timeline, removing manual recordings and motion recordings, and I can easily identify the event recording. This recording was created using the line crossing function within Axis Object Analytics and allows me to easily identify vehicles going into the car park. We have added extra functionality to the export icon. Here, you can right hand click on the icon and you can add only the event recordings as well as open the export tab. You can also get the same functionality by right clicking on the timeline. Here you can see I'm only adding the events in between the export markers. Finally, we have support for the Axis Q1656. This technology combines both a radar and video analytics to provide reliable detection. The device can detect a person up to 60 meters away and a vehicle up to 90 meters away in complete darkness. You can also search the radar metadata within Smart Search. Here I'm searching for people crossing the line towards the building. Once I've found the detection I'm interested in, I can replay this with visual information to confirm the event. I hope this video has been of interest and you find the new functionality contained within this release useful. Thank you for watching.